National Grid's taken a big lead both in the UK and the US in helping the policymakers think through how do we change our energy environment to a green, low carbon environment and how do we replace our infrastructure that's very old at the same time, make sure we're putting the right infrastructure in place. With the new president in the US, we've applied for three smart grid pilots in the cities of Worcester, Syracuse and Albany. And those pilots will test new technology for a smarter grid of the future, much more interactive, helping customers conserve their energy usage. And the UK government, what kind of backing are you getting from them? There's a huge amount going on in the UK in the last year as well. We worked with government and Ofgem to look at what strategic electric transmission investment was required to bring all renewable energy on stream in the UK over the next 10 to 15 years. And we agreed that just under £5 billion of extra investment would be required in the future. And now we're working to start to design that, even though those investments have not yet been agreed to take place. So again, a lot of progress here, thinking about what's the energy mix for the future and what's the infrastructure investment that's required to ensure that, that we deliver that energy. And, and how important is, is National Grid's backing to this kind of activity? Well, is, National Grid just sits at the heart of the energy markets, both in the northeast of the US and the UK. So we have to play a pivotal position here. We have to help policymakers think through what are the right answers? What is the master plan? We've got to get energy master plans. We have to have one in the UK and in the US. These are long-term investments. It's a 15, 20-year transition from an old world into a new world. All that really requires a master plan. And we're making sure as a business that we're just inputting into people's thinking so they can use our expertise and experience. And we will be part then of delivering that different mix of energy in the future. And is National Grid leading by example? You've got to put your own house in order, haven't you? National Grid so far has reduced our own emissions from a 1990 base by almost 30%. And we've been very public, very clear about our target for 2020, which is a 45% reduction in overall emissions. So a lot going on in our own business to make sure that we are leading on this area.